going on YouTube? Once again, I'm here back with another video. Now for this video, we are here with Road to the Top, episode 41. Now if you guys haven't seen yesterday's episode, definitely go check it out. We, we pulled an insane 97 overall, Kevin Love, and as you guys may know, we posted him up for three mil, and he ended up selling pretty quickly. He sold for three mil, and look at our coin balance now. We're sitting at 2.6 million coins, so that's definitely going to help us make some more upgrades to our team. Now, yesterday, I grinded out some more of the tip-off event, and I ended up getting the collectibles I needed to finish off this cornucopia set. And today, they gave us a new event where we could grind it out once again. So, so far, um, I completed it nine times. We still have um, two more times left to complete it, but I ran out of stamina, okay? So then I decided to grind out these objectives. Now, all I need to do is to complete one more set, and then I'll get myself another stamina refill, and then I'll be able to finish this up. So let's go ahead and complete this this uh king of the courts pack set we're going to claim this we're not going to open this right now though but we do get our final um objectives collectible and then we get ourselves another refill we're going to save that for later because we can get some fire out of that so we're going to get our objectives there and then you can get a total of 10 king of the courts packs i'm gonna throw that in there so what collectibles do we need? We need the Knicks collectible, OKC, Rockets, and Lakers. So we're going to use all of our stamina to grind out the tip-off of it to see if we can get ourselves another cornucopia pack. I said cornucopia pack, to get another King of the Courts pack. So before we can do that, though, we got to finish off these events so that we can get our cornucopia pack. I'm going to put that onto the bench as well because my luck out of those packs on this account is completely insane so if we can get an insane pull out of the king of the courts pack and the cornucopia pack then we're going to be able to make some more massive upgrades so um yeah make sure to definitely like the video and if you are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe we have a week and three days left until the reset that's still that's still a decent amount of time so i'm still going to keep doing road to the top as often as possible and I'll probably end the series. Um, I don't know when I'm going to end the series. I'm going to end it. Of course, I'm going to have to end it before the reset happens. So um, I might end it like a day or two, maybe three days before the reset happens. So I don't know. We'll just see how it plays out. So um, this event, we just got to win. And it should be pretty easy. We start things off with an easy layup there. I need to put on a uh, switch controls because... Um, I really got used to using switch controls and it really helps when you're playing defense so I advise you guys if you're having trouble on defense use switch controls because it really helps we're gonna hit a pump fake oh we got swatted but Wilt gets the rebound and we get the easy dunk right there so um, I need to not lose any any of these events because we could use all the stamina that we need because I'm gonna try to get another king of the courts pack hopefully if not during this video I'll do it off camera and then we can open it during uh the next road to the top episode oh i shouldn't have passed it that could have been a steal but they gave us a wide open lane so we need to we need to hold up on defense no wide open shots i jumped way too early please don't make that please yes oh i thought he was about to switch it i legit thought he was about to switch it so i'm happy about that Okay, so this this is the final event that we needed to do in order to get our cornucopia pack. So there's our cornucopia pack there, but first we gotta get our collectible. We need the Knicks. Warriors again, come on now. But we can trade those collectibles in for a new collectible. Okay, so we can play four more of these events. Now let me see which one is the easiest. Um, avoid obstacles. We're gonna do this four times real quick. So that we can get some more of these uh, tip-off collectibles. So that um, we could try and get another King of the Courts pack. Now, um, you could pull Extreme Fire out of the King of the Courts pack. But there are certain pulls that are extreme garbage as well. Any Tracy McGrady's I do not want. Because those are like, what, 400k? 
500k well it depends on which one you get um i think the defensive one is the best one to get the big man one is only around 600k well no 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 the big man one is like 800k so i mean like the prices probably have dropped because everybody's opening these so i'm thinking that any t mac is like 600k 700k so we don't want that we do want jeremy lynn because jeremy lynn goes for over a mil i know that for a fact i think it goes for like four mil five mil so jeremy lynn is who we want and um any 97 plus of course is what we want as well i've heard of people pulling some 97 pluses and you guys know how our luck is on this road to the top account we've pulled extreme fire we pulled a total of two 97s out of cornucopia packs we got that ray allen and we got kevin love yesterday both of them were big moments cards which is um completely insane so hopefully we can get some more fire out of these packs and hopefully um we can get lucky and get ourselves another corner another king of the courts pack um right now and we are going to close off the video with a massive shopping spree um i have a few players in mind that i want to get so um our franchise is going to be pretty pretty high after we do our shopping spree because of that kevin love pull so let's see if we can get some collectibles that we actually need so i do remember that we do need the knicks collectible so can we get that celtics we already have i'm tired of getting duplicates bro i really am lakers we already have come on come on come on man another lakers collectible we don't need that three in a row wow that's terrible but that's fine. It's all right. So, oh, we needed a Lakers collectible. Wow, okay. I'm stupid. We needed a Lakers collectible. So, all we need is Knicks, Thunder, and Rockets. So, let's go ahead and do the trade-in. And let's see if we can get... Let's see if we can finish this set off. Let's see if we can get lucky, man. Please. Bucks, we already have. So, we can only do this two more times. So, we need to get lucky. Thunder, let's go. Come on, we need, oh, don't trade that thunder in. Okay. So we need Knicks and we need Rockets. Come on. Knicks and Rockets. Celtics. Dang. So we can do this two more times, guys. Knicks and Rockets. Knicks, let's go! All right, all right. All we need is the Rockets. All we need is the Rockets. All right, somebody told me a trick. Somebody told me a trick where um, if you change your team to that collectible that you need it works so let's see if we could change our team real quick uh change team so we need rockets so let's see if this works okay so we are the rockets right now if this works i swear that's going to be insane okay we need rockets guys we need rockets if we get rockets bro if we get rockets the Celtics. That didn't work. It's all right. Um, we'll have another pack later today, so it's fine. We'll do that for the next road to the top episode. All right, so let's go ahead and hop in to our cornucopia pack. If we get something crazy, I swear, 89 Draymond Green. So that's not that good. I will um check the price um after we open this corner corner i keep calling this cornucopia pack i don't know okay so these cards we're gonna open one by one <laughs> we get a 94 tracy mcgrady oh my gosh that was bad but we're gonna have another king of course pack later today so we could probably get some good out of that so let me hurry up and look up this price real quick um mcgrady and then we're gonna do shooting let's see how much he goes for 300 not even 300k that is so bad at least the pack was free though wow this is bad let's try 125 this dude goes for 100k wow I'm, I'm mad that is that is terrible I told you guys any T-Mac pull is terrible yesterday Wow 60k 
That is so crazy. That is so bad. So this dude, 100K. That is crazy. This dude used to be going for millions, millions. Now 100K. I'm going to drop this Draymond Green for 45K. Okay, so I do have an auction that I need to claim. Now, we ended up selling our John Wall here for 75K. So, that would, get a, that would give us some more coins. All right, so let's see what upgrades we want to make for the team so that we can close out this video. So, we need a new small forward and power forward for the big man lineup. And then we need a new point guard and power forward for the small ball so and we could also use a new center for the two-way but let's start our let's um aim our focus on the big man right now so let's look for a small forward and power forward for the big man so small forward big man 900k okay so we have some good options here we got lance stevenson Alright, so I think Durant's going to be the move here. So how much could we get Durant? So I see 850, 800, 750, 720. 720 is going to be the move. Bam, right there. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, now let's look for a power forward here. And let's see what we can get. Aldridge. Oh, we can get a Kevin Love or Aldridge. I think Kevin Love is going to be the move. So let's just type in love, but Aldridge is very cheap actually. Love is cheap as well. Um, Aldridge is like 300K though. And his stats aren't bad. Yeah, so I think we're gonna go with Aldridge. 300k now i'm happy that these packs lowered the prices because then we can make some upgrades to our team you know okay so 250 bro this dude is so cheap that is crazy so we're gonna we're gonna go 200k and then we're gonna get this right here for 200k easy as pie just like that all right, so now we can also use a point guard. So we could we could go big on this position. Point guard for the big man. And let's see if we can get something for 900K. I tried to press my luck there. Let's look up some 96s. Oh, we can get a Curry. Yeah, so I think that's who we're probably going to get. Um, 96 three-pointer very nice all right so let me just all right yeah we're gonna we're just gonna buy it bam 850k okay so now we can use a new power forward for the small ball so let's look up some 94s um we're not gonna get any 94s let's look up some 93s dang that's that's kind of what i get for um, overspending, but that's all right. So there's a 93 Kevin Love for 700K. Let's see, cause um, the point guard I was looking to get 95 Isaiah Thomas, and he is cheap. So if we can get Thomas and if we can get a power forward, that would be very nice. So we're gonna look up Thomas, small ball. He should be cheap because of these packs. If we can get him for 200K, oh, that is so stupid. Oh, an auction sold. All right, so we have a million coins that we could work with. So if we can get a Thomas for 300K, good. All right, good. Things are gonna work out. Two seventy-five. Okay, so. 265 is what I see so we're gonna buy this for 265k and then we can get power forward we have 810k left to spend 
Oh wow, 96 Dennis Rodman. Power forward for the small ball. Oh, we can actually get James Worthy. Yo, all right. So who do we want? So let's go 95s and above. Okay, so we can either get Worthy or Durant. I mean, uh, Draymond Green, what am I talking about? So, Worthy has 92 shooting, Draymond Green has 85 shooting, um, but Draymond Green has better defense. Worthy has um, better shooting, so I think we're gonna go ahead and get James Worthy. Um, so I see one for 700K, 800, 799. So, nope, oh, not gonna get that. We're gonna get the one for 700k right here. I remember yesterday he was going for like a million coins, so I'm happy about this. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up James Worthy there. We're down to 110k. We can use that to snipe. All right, man, we made some key upgrades, and our team is about to be looking crazy. So we're gonna hit highest overall, and let's see what our franchise is gonna be at. We're still at a 95 franchise. Um, let's open this pack, no elites. All right, so our small ball is up to a 94. Our big man is up to a 95. So very nice, very nice. Um, our best lineup is still our two-way lineup at a 97, but our franchise is coming together. Um, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done putting our franchise together. Um, so we're just gonna keep on making upgrades in every single video what upgrades do we need to make now um i think our small ball is complete to be honest because i'm not getting rid of lebron i'm not getting rid of drummond or penny hardaway and we just got isaiah thomas and james worthy so our small ball is done i'm leaving it at that our big man is done as well at a 95 um i don't know what upgrades that we can make um we could probably get a new power forward for the defensive. Um, our shooting is low key done. So I think the only upgrades that we really need to make is um, for the two way lineup, replacing that Wilt Chamberlain. But um, I don't know, we might be done. We, we it's, it's nearing the end guys, it's nearing the end bro. It's, it's kind of sad. <laughs> the best series on my channel is nearing the end bro. But guess what, bro? Right when the game resets, Road to the Top, Episode 1. Day 1, we're dropping Episode 1. Day 1. So stay tuned for that, man. So um, if you guys enjoyed Road to the Top, Episode 41, make sure you definitely drop that like. And if you are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We did not have any luck during this video. We had massive luck last video. But we did end up doing a massive shopping spree. So overall pretty good another pretty good episode um this was a very special series for the channel it really was it completely blew up and i did not expect it to blow up like this each episode does the numbers and it's very special man very special for the channel and you guys really love it so we're definitely going to be bringing it back for nba live mobile 18 and we're definitely going to be grinding as well from the beginning um, this series, um, for this season, we started like three, four months ago. So we only had about four months, five months, basically, to grind this team out. So we grinded out a 95 overall franchise in four months. So pretty good, in my opinion. Imagine if we grinded the whole season, this team will be a 99 overall franchise. So, yep, um, we're almost at 20K subs, guys. We are only around... Um, 200 and uh what 70 subs away something around there so we're definitely going to hit it this week um i haven't been streaming lately because i have classes late um so i'll try to bang out a stream probably friday friday night because then people don't have school saturday so we're definitely going to try to hit 20k by then and then we're going to be streaming friday saturday um and sunday so yep as always drop a like subscribe share and y'all know the slogan, screw the haters. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.